What's up everybody, Sleepless Gaming here, and thanks for checking out this video. It's about time for my bedtime after I finish this video, and I have to say I have been no life in the crap out of Nuka World, and I'm actually proud to say that I got you guys a guide for all the StarCore locations in the new Fallout 4 Nuka World DLC to unlock this new Nuka Quantum Power Armor, and oh my gosh does this thing look sexy. And not only is it one sexy beast, it is extremely useful. This is literally the best power armor that you can get in Fallout 4, period. Well without mods that is. And the reason for that is because of its ability and also its amazing stats. The ability on this Quantum XO power armor increases action point refresh speed with all pieces equipped. And for the stats, starting with the Quantum XO helmet, it has 300 base defense, 220 energy resistance, and 150 radiation resistance. Health is at 200, weight 14.3, and the value is 168. I'm not going to read all of these off for you though because I got a long way to go. I got to show you guys where all 35 freaking star core locations are to be able to unlock this power armor but as you can see i'm still showing you guys all the pieces i'm just not going to read them out loud i just feel like that'll sound like i'm repeating myself over and over and over and it'll just get annoying anyways it'd be greatly appreciated before i actually get into all these star core locations if you guys could take a little bit of your time and show some support on the video because this just took absolutely forever and also i'm running on no sleep so fair warning if I sound, I don't know, a bit strange. Or should I say a bit more strange because, you know, typically I already sound strange. <laughs> I am definitely slap happy. It is way past my bedtime. Anyways, uh, let's get into this. We will be starting this guide at the Galactic Zone. I'm sorry if I'm moving too fast for y'all in this video. I'm just trying to make this as short as possible. So if it gets too fast for y'all, just maybe pause it at one star core if you're trying to follow the guide precisely. And then once you grab that star core, continue the guide again and see where the next star core is at. And then go grab that star core and then pause it and then repeat the process. You should get the point. Anyways, here we are at the first star core location in this guide. By the way, as you can see, there is a counter up in the top right to make this a little bit easier for you all to follow. And also to prove to you guys even more that I do show all 35 locations in this video. Also, I guess while I'm running over showing you guys these other locations, I should probably let you all know if you haven't activated the Nuka World theme park power yet, you won't be able to get one of the star cores. I'm not going to say too much spoilers on how exactly you activate the power, let's just say it's part of the main story. As you can see though, here is the second star core. Anyways, back to what I was saying, I guess, if you don't have the theme park power running yet, you won't be able to collect all of them, but you will be able to collect 34 of them. You'll just be missing one. And that one is pretty simple to find. It is where we're at currently in the galactic zone. I'll actually be showing you it here soon. And if you end up missing one, I guess all I can really suggest to y'all is just to re-follow the guide. I swear to y'all, once again though, there is all 35 star core locations in this video. Trust me, I wouldn't waste your guys' time like that. I'm not that type of person. Anyways, we are about to be reaching the third star core, as you can see, here it is. But since I was just on the topic about missing, I guess I should let you all know that I already picked up two star cores before making this guide. I had no idea what they were at first, I was just like, ooh, shiny, and I picked it up. You know, the caveman instincts kicked in. I will be still showing you guys those locations, but when I go to those locations, they won't be there. But if you guys have not yet picked those up, they will for sure be there. But here we are right next to Nuka Galaxy, and this is where the Ford Star Core location is at. Now, just 31 more to go. We got quite an adventure ahead of us, guys. But don't worry, the majority of them, though, are in this galactic zone area. To be precise with y'all, there is 30 out of 35 here. Anyways, you just have to head up these flight of stairs. I just didn't want to record all that mumbo jumbo. As you can see, though, the fifth one is right up here. Anyways, once you grab that one, this next one I'll be showing y'all is uh, in the center of the galactic zone. This one is actually going to require the Nuka World theme park power to be active. It will be on top of the star control up here. Um, you'll have to access this elevator, which this is obviously what is going to uh, require the power to be active. But at the top of this elevator, there is another star core. I mean, it makes sense why they added this star core on top of this place here, because they wanted you to actually play the Nuka World DLC before getting this power armor, because they know there is some collector fanatics out there, like myself. But if you didn't realize where we just went, we went to Robeco Battle Zone. And once inside, you just want to head down these stands here where people masturbate to the Robo Battle. And we're going to be heading inside the actual Battle Zone. And uh, as you can see, there is two Star Cores right freaking here. From here, though, you just want to turn around and head down these flight of stairs over here. These stairs are easy to pass, so yeah, be on the lookout for them. And you will notice that the next Star Core will be down here in this basement 
right here. Anyways, from this one, you want to head out the opposite way that you came in, and you will notice that you'll be back out here in the main lobby. Just follow the route that I'm taking. You want to go over here to this employees only door, head up these flight of stairs once a freaking again, and you will notice that there will be more star cores in this room. Keep in mind, there will be some doors that you will need to unlock. I'm not exactly sure if that was one of them, but I know I did unlock quite a bit before actually doing this guide, so yeah. And that's not just including this place. That goes for literally everywhere. But yeah, keep that in mind. Anyways, that's now 11 for this 12th one though, as you guys will see here soon, will be right over here behind this counter on top of this shelf. Once you have gotten that one, congratulations. If you've been following this guide since zero star cores, you should now have 12. And also you've collected them all in the Robeco Battle Zone. Now let's head on over to the Nuka Galaxy. Alrighty, so here we are at the Nuka Galaxy. I'm not going to talk as much as I was talking before because I feel like the footage is pretty much self-explanatory. It shows you exactly where the locations are. Like my talking isn't really that necessary. I just feel like it helps. It gives you guys some more information about these uh, star cores. But obviously just keep following the route that I'm taking. You'll end up coming out to this lobby right here and there'll be quite a bit of star cores in this general area. But this first one I'll be showing you in here as you can see will be right in this room. And if you haven't cleared out Nuka Galaxy, well then, you best be prepared because there will be a lot of robots in here. But as you can see, I am unlocking a Master Lock. There's quite a bit of those in the Nuka world, so yeah, um, watch out for those. Anyways, for this next one though, it'll be located on top of these stairs in this room. So from that one, you just want to directly turn around you'll see another door, which if you haven't unlocked it, it'll be another yes. Master Lock. And in here will be another Star Core as well. But from this one, you just want to head back out into the lobby that we just came from, and it'll be located right over here, what looks like the controls of the roller coaster. Okay, so from that one, you just want to head over here to this open door, head down these flight of stairs, and then take the long stretch over to the awesome looking UFO. Then you're going to head down a couple flight of stairs, and don't continue down the stairs, bust the left, and head off this ledge over here. The star core will be literally right off this ledge. From this sneaky beaver though, you just want to continue following the route going down the stairs, then you're going to be heading up some more stairs, then you'll be on this platform. You're just going to want to jump off the ledge like we did before, and head through this area. Be cautious though, because if you haven't pressed that button, there will be a huge gap there that you can fall down. Anyways, just keep straight, and you're going to want to bust a left at the end of the hallway, then go straight across to some more stairs, and you will notice that the next star core will be on top of them. But from this one, you just want to backtrack and head over to this elevator. But once you've gotten out of the elevator, congratulations, you are pretty much now at the last star core in Nuka Galaxy. Pat yourself on the back, go get a drink, refresh yourself maybe, and then let's get on with this search. Or just do neither of those options if you're hardcore and you just want to get this over with. But yeah, I'm going to skip this part, just exit Nuka Galaxy, we're going to be heading over to Starlight Interstellar Theater now. But once you are inside, just head to the left section of this building, go down the hallway, take a left, and go to the restroom to the right. You'll notice there will be another star core next to this dead dude. From that one, go into the main lobby of the Interstellar Theater and head over to this counter. It will be behind it. From this counter, though, we're going to want to go over here and take an elevator up. Hello. And once we're up top, just take the route that I take across this railway. And you will notice that I'll go into this room. This one is one of them that is missing. I've already picked up this one, guys. But as you can see, a star core would be here if, you know, my caveman instincts didn't kick in. But from the room, you just want to take the elevator back down. You will notice we're pretty much on the opposite side of the elevator we just went in. Go into this room on the right and then bust a quick left. Not a nut. I know it's exciting. We're almost finished, kind of. And you will notice the star core will be inside this area. But congratulations, that is all the star cores in the Interstellar Theater. Woohoo! We are almost done with the Nuka Galaxy. Okay, so of course, next up on this list is Among the Stars. Once inside this building, go to the right through this space tunnel and go over behind these rocks. There will be a star core in this room. Arcturus Prime, a frontier college in the year 2291. So from that one, head out and continue following the path. On the surface of this remote, desolate world. You end up hitting an area that looks like this. This is an easy one to pass up because it's literally behind you. As you can see, it'll be over here in this room. 
So from this sneaky beaver, uh, there will be a star core literally right next door over here. <sighs> Once you grab that one though, you want to head over to this sneaky door. I accidentally almost went the wrong way. See, this is the room that you want to go through, but you want to go through here and go right to the room on the left. This will be the three final star cores in the Among the Stars. As you can see, they were kind of grouped together. Pretty cool though that these weren't that difficult to explain on where they are at in this building because they're all pretty much in the same general area. Alright, so for this next one, we're going to want to go back to the star control, which is pretty much the center of the galactic zone. Just If you don't know where this is at, this is not difficult at all to find. We're already here in this guy. We just went above it in that elevator. Anyways, this is actually where we're going to be getting the quantum power armor at. As you can see though, the star core will be right next to this dude's body. For this next one though, we are finally out of the galactic zone. It'll be next to this chick named Shelby Chase, which I don't know if you saw that though, but it looks as if my partner Armstrong has a hard on for her. But yeah, it's right here on this table next to her. Anywho, just use the door right next to it and head on out. And you want to head over to the parlor. And at the parlor area, you want to head over into the Nuka Cade. And once inside, just head toward the reward terminal and bust a right and go through these double doors right here. And it'll be literally on your right on this weapons workbench. Now we're gonna wanna head over to the delicious world of refreshment. And head through here. Then you're gonna have to follow the quantum river for quite some time until you hit this Nuka-Cola power armor area. Once you hit here, that's a good landmarking to know you are near. Go through this hole in the wall, head up the flight of stairs, take a right in this room, and then you want to jump off this railway, and it'll be literally right here next to the sleeping bag. I also accidentally picked this one up as well. This is the other one that I accidentally picked up, but it will be for sure right around here where I'm shooting. So yeah, that's that. Now let's head over to the Dry Rock Gulch. Once you're here, you're going to want to go left inside the Dry Rock Gulch and head straight back. Once you're in front of Doc Phosphate's saloon, you want to head left, and then once again, head straight back. This is where the next star core will be. It'll be located next to two dead bodies. Now we are on to the last and final star core location. I'm proud to say that because this took absolutely forever to put together. Anyways, it's going to be over here in the Nuka World Junkyard. You just want to head inside this giant warehouse once you're here. And then go through the door on the left, there will be stairs that you can take up, take those up, and it'll be located at the far end of this second story. Beware of that alien, it kind of scared me at first. But yeah, there you guys have it everybody, the 35 Star Cores. Hope you found this guide helpful, and of course you enjoy your new, unique Quantum Power Armor. And oh, by the way, I guess I should explain real quick on how you exactly unlock the case to get to the Quantum Power Armor. All you have to do is just insert the 35 star cores in these empty locations where it looks like star cores would be at. And of course, once again, at the star control in the galactic zone. And then once you have placed all of them, go to the main frame. And then from there, you can unlock the case. That's where this video began at. But yeah, I'm out of here, everybody. I'm about to go get some sleep after I finish this thumbnail for this video. Once again, hopefully you found this helpful. And if you haven't already, try giving me a chance in subscribing. It'd be great to have you on board. But yeah, that's wrapping up this video. P -p 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 Peace.